What's up everybody and welcome to an update to the Scar Rage as well as a console release, mainly an Xbox One release. So yes, one of my favorite weapon mods, basically my favorite weapon mod of all time right now, the Scar Rage did get a few updates again, changing the mod and again also getting released on Xbox One. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the new features. So first and foremost, let's go over some of the more obvious changes right off the bat. First, we got a brand new scope. As you can see right here, I do have it on the gun itself. This is a suit that scope so typically you'll see these on like an LED 5 or something like that a little bit different than a normal ACOG and uh, still very cool nonetheless we also did get a flash hider which I do technically have on the gun and uh, there's actually a few other more major changes so as you can see on this one I have a full set of camo if I actually shoot the gun you can see it get a better view there and uh, as you can see we did get some camo mods there are a bunch of them I'm going to show you all of them in the workshop in a moment but for right now very cool as well as we actually did get a flashlight so you can kind of have it as an under barrel and as soon as you put it on it'll replace the pit boy flashlight which does look really nice. Also, one of the more minor changes, but something to notice nonetheless, there's actually an option on this gun to put on an angled foregrip. So on this one, I actually do have an angled foregrip. You can kind of tell right there, it's a little bit hard to tell because my hand's mostly covering it. But uh, nonetheless, the animation change for the angled foregrip versus the non-angled foregrip, this one has no foregrip, as you can see right there, is a little bit different. So I'll show you the two right now. Here is going to be the new animation. And then this is going to be the animation you know and love. So as you can see, pretty much the same. They're very similar. And again, I'm not using a quick eject mag or anything like this on this one. This is just a normal gun with the same magazine. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit different. The uh, one's obviously a little bit quicker and all that. But I just thought I'd mention it. As well as we actually did get some new suppressor sound. So take a listen to this. I just felt I would want to show you guys that and then we do have that cool reload animation as well and uh, I think that's pretty much about everything again we did get a, uh, a muzzle a muzzle flash thing a flash hider that's the word I was looking for so the flash hider is on this one so as you can see there's no flash and if we switch to this one they actually look aesthetically exactly the same so the flash hider versus the non flash hider is you know identical it'll be a little bit more obvious once we get into the workshop though So as you can see here, we do have the three. Again, we have the, the camo one, the uh, kind of kitted out one that had all the new features, and then finally just the regular old one that actually comes with a flashlight now. So well, I'm not going to show you guys how to get this. If you want to know where to get the gun, I made it in my previous video. It's pretty clear by the post. Plus, uh, I have class in like 20 minutes, so I had to kind of hurry up a little bit. But uh, nonetheless, all right, so let's go through here and look at some of the different features. Again, mostly all the same. You have still the same standard barrel. You do have a few different receivers, so armor piercing, hardened, and powerful. And uh, you'll see these are all, I, I really like this feature about this mod. None of these like are automatic. None of that's mixed in here. That's a totally separate menu, which is nice. And then here again, we do have the angled foregrip and stock. So kind of interesting. Basically, this uh, kind of makes the stock supposed to be a little bit better. I, I don't know why it's doing both you know what I mean a little interesting and then of course attaching the angle foregrip but uh, pretty cool I guess nonetheless then we do have the two magazines and again none of them are using the quick eject magazine so as you could see this one with the angle foregrip was reloading noticeably faster but that had nothing to do with the magazine so let's actually put on a quick eject magazine now and we'll compare those two then we do have some different sites so of course we do have these two then we also do have a reflex and an acog site obviously the susat is the one I, I kind of was focusing on but also we did get a reflex site and then of course these two and then the standard sites which we were using initially and are those magpul no it's not okay um and then we do have the suppressor or the flash hider again the flash hider versus no muzzle is exactly the same it's a little thing but i'd like to see that fixed in the future it'd be nice to have a uh, you know whether that part just be removed or, or i don't know some little change there but again not too big of a deal then of course the suppressor right there and now starting to get into the more interesting thing the tactical flashlight or no tactical flashlight the select fire mode so you could have semi-automatic or fully automatic and uh, one thing again <laughs> i just don't really like when guns have different damages for all the automatic changes and i don't know just not my cup of tea i, I don't know why some people still do this in fallout 4 i get the vanilla game does it but it just doesn't seem to really make any sense 
in a practical sense. Then, of course, the two different calibers there. And then we actually have some more interesting ones. So this is when we get into the camo section. So uh, right here, we can see we have a magazine finish. And uh, oh, this is glitching out, isn't it? So let me uh, drop these other two guns because I'm noticing a glitch really quick. So this is actually going to be a common glitch if you experience that. A lot of mods have it. Basically, there's no suppressor finish because that's also an option. So uh, typically, just drop the other guns that don't have a suppressor that are also in your inventory if you're having that problem. Nonetheless, we do now have the different camos. So as you can see here, we do have the suppressor finish. And then we have the magazine finish and the camo finish. I love this feature. Basically, you could put different camos on all three of them if you so desire. So you can mix and match them. There's not a ton here, and I don't think they're the highest quality. They're, they're like good enough standard, but the gun itself is definitely higher quality. But uh, as you can see, we have a 3D camo. We have this one, which I actually really like that, especially on the suppressor. Just a black camo, a graffiti camo, which looks pretty interesting, a NATO 1 camo, a Shved camo, a skull camo finish which it's a little hard to see the skulls it would be cooler if i think these skulls were a little bit uh, smaller and more spaced out so you could actually see them more clearly than a snipe camo not really sure how to pronounce that in the x camo which i was using on the regular gun so as you can see now we have a skull camo let's actually put on i'll put on the atax camo and then if we go down here, of course, we have do have some camos you could put on the magazine as well. Although I didn't have one on there initially. Uh, we have a tan magazine, which you could just do by default. You could do some of these other cooler ones. Uh, I'm trying to see which one would be cool. We could do a graffiti camo on the magazine. That doesn't fit very well at all. And then uh, what should we do for the regular gun? Um, we could just go a black receiver finish. So doesn't that look interesting? Definitely an interesting mod nonetheless. So uh, I'm going to customize all of these. That's pretty much all the new features. I just wanted to mainly make this video because it did come out on Xbox One, as well as it did get quite a few cool features. But uh, yeah, so I'll customize the last two and let's go take them into action. So I had to grab myself two different guns. This one does have kind of the skull camo and it's more of a ranged one firing a 308 and I think it has a flash hider and of course this longer SUSAT scope while the other one is more of a silent kind of closer range one. This is the one we basically kitted out there firing a 556. And also if you want to compare the two here is uh, this is the quick eject mag. And this is the uh, not quick eject mag. So I could definitely notice like a very, very slight difference, or at least I think I can. Maybe that's just my brain telling me there is one. But uh, yeah, very slight, both using the angled foregrip. So pretty interesting, very slight difference. Let's actually turn this on. Got a few baddies around the corner here. So let's see, let's take out the longer range one. Oh my God. <laughs> so I did place down a few raiders. And this gun actually packs a pretty powerful punch. So let's try and take a few of these down before they get too close to me. And okay, I gotta take down the one with the, uh, I, I definitely gotta take down the one with the Gatling gun, or, yeah, so let's see this. Alright, he's reloading. Take out the other one. Oh god, I'm getting kind of lit up right here. Fortunately, I'm, uh, I'm actually, like, not in god mode, I was gonna say. They're not actually doing too much damage, because I haven't popped a stim pack yet. But let's finish him off real quick. Let's actually switch back. Oh, he's in there. And this one actually does do more damage. Again, firing one, the bigger bullet. What the hell? Where did this guy come from? One, firing the bigger bullet. But two, even beyond that, it actually has... It's semi-automatic. So the semi-automatic one's, of course, doing more damage. So let's see if I can actually finish him off real quick. Come on. Come on. There you go. Finish him off from behind. And uh, yes, that's how I do, guys. Um, so we'll try and take this guy out. And uh, he, there is also a damage patch for this, in case you guys were wondering. You can adjust it that way. And uh, let's actually just take this gun out. Oh no! <laughs> the the re getting shot reload of death. Alright, let's finish him off. Fortunately, this one does have a quick eject magazine, so it does reload pretty quickly. Which is actually one kind of complaint I had with the initial one, is I found, or the initial version of this mod, I found that it kind of just took way too long to reload. So I, I have like really bad range with this, but uh, we'll finish them off there pretty easily <laughs> with that crazy magazine. That's actually really cool. I love the look of the magazine. So I put all these guys in there initially, like all inside this building, and it looks like most of them are making their way out. There were some super mutants in there, although, who are you shooting? Oh, don't pop this thing back, please. <laughs> I don't know who you're shooting there. So I guess at this range, we should probably use the... Uh, Oh, that's a cool shot. 
Well, our head didn't explode, though. Uh, I'm a little... Fall of 4 has made me a bad person. But uh, let's go actually see if we can't make our way to the roof and get some better shots from this one. From the, the longer range one. Oh, are they fighting the, like, blood bugs and all that over there, maybe? It's probably what they're actually doing. Let's see. Oh, no, there's a few super mutants left. Oh, that's a ghoul or something. Interesting. Okay, so stuff's blowing up. Looks like it's pretty action-packed out there. And, oh, damn it. Alright, let's just go run back outside, though, because it doesn't seem like there's too many left. We can try and finish them off. It looks like that ghoul really went to town on them. And, uh, where am I, where am I even getting shot at from? Oh. Alright, finish that one off. This gun is really fun to use. I really love the new suppressor sounds. I think they, uh, they sound way better. Alright, it seems like there's a few more, but I think that's going to wrap it up for this one, though, guys. So, uh, one of the best weapon mods for Fallout 4, coming to Xbox One, covering some of the new features, it did get. Very cool mod, definitely recommend checking it out. As always, I thank you guys for watching, I do hope you enjoyed this one, hope to see you all next time. Later!